Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Welcome to the Hotel California. It is the way of all flesh. That's right. No one is immortal, not even Bernie Sanders. He may look like he's been around since Moses' time, but he hasn't. He came around about the time of the devil and has been reincarnated many different times in many different guises. Welcome to the program. Here are the main topics I'm going to talk about. Do you think Palin will help or hurt Trump? I have very strong feelings that she has damaged goods. She's not going to help him. I have no idea who's advising him. But my advice is, let her go fly fishing in Alaska, too. Banned in Britain. Now, they want to ban Donald Trump. They banned me. They banned others. We're going to play some sound for you from the once great British Parliament, where you will hear lies being repeated by the Labor Party, which is a fundamental offshoot of the Communist Party. The worldwide Soviet Communist Party is alive and well in, the so in, in, the, in Britain, where the Labor Party now spreads the big lie over and over again. Uh, as Goebbels said, if you tell a big lie often enough, it will become the truth. You will hear one of the Labor Party members from the U.K. lying about yours truly, Michael Savage, spreading another vicious lie about what I said when I didn't say it. The only good news for me is that I had no idea I was in such a steam company of those banned in Britain, including Mike Tyson. Uh... Chris Brown, I don't know who he is, he's a singer, he can't go there. Louis Farrakhan banned from Britain. Maybe I'll join in Louis Farrakhan in a lawsuit, wouldn't that be funny? Doesn't, isn't it odd that politics makes such strange bedfellows? That Louis Farrakhan was banned from Britain in 1986? Uh, then there is Martha Stewart. Did you know Martha Stewart is banned in Britain? Now why would they ban Martha Stewart? She was sentenced to five months jail for lying to stock market investigators. <laughs> By Obama's standards, all of Wall Street would be in prison by those standards today. But British border officials said they would continue to refuse entry to Martha Stewart because she had been found guilty of serious criminal offenses abroad. So they let Muslim fanatics rage in the streets saying they want to overthrow the government, introduce Sharia law, cut the Queen's throat, etc., but not Martha Stewart nor Michael Savage. What a sad day it is in the world that the West has produced such spineless, useless leadership. But let's come back to America. Hillary's most secret server is the biggest story of the day. Let's not overlook this news-breaking story. It came up about one hour ago as an exclusive to Fox News. Inspector General has looked into the Clinton email story and it turns out that Clinton transmitted intelligence from the most secretive classified programs. How come she's not banned from entering Britain? I wonder. I wonder why isn't she banned from entering Britain? Hillary Clinton's emails on her unsecured home server contained intelligence from the U.S. government's most secretive and highly classified programs according to an unclassified letter from a top inspector general to senior American lawmakers. This is a huge story. It laid out the findings of a recent comprehensive review by intelligence agencies, which identified several dozen additional classified emails, including specific intelligence known as special access programs. This is a level beyond even top secret, and Hillary Clinton shared them on her server. Did you hear what I just said to you? Are you listening? Are you that dumb? Do you know that according to court documents, former CIA director David Petraeus, one of our greatest war heroes, was prosecuted, really persecuted, for sharing intelligence from special access programs with his biographer and mistress, Paula Broadwell. At the heart of Petraeus' prosecution was an NDA, an undisclosure agreement, 
where General Petraeus agreed to protect these closely held government programs with the understanding, quote, unauthorized disclosure, unauthorized retention or negligent handling could cause irreparable injury to the United States or be used to advantage by a foreign nation, close quote. And your girl, Hillary Clinton, signed an identical NDA January 22nd, 2009. Now, why is it that Petraeus was prosecuted for breaking this non-disclosure disclosure agreement, while Hillary Clinton is so far free as an eagle. Why is that? Tell me why that is happening. The answer is because we have a warped justice system in America with a corrupt presidency. She obviously violated USC 18 Section 793, gross negligence in the handling of secure information under the Espionage Act, according to the in Inspector General. Why is she not being prosecuted? That's topic number three. So we've got three topics. Hillary's most secret server, Michael Savage being banned in Britain. Do you think Palin will help or hurt Trump? And I would be remiss not to read this to you. I found this last night and I almost fell out of my chair. Did you know that Ted Cruz did not renounce his Canadian citizenship until 2014? Is that correct, Jim? I want that confirmed. Yes or no? I was told this today. Someone's job is on the line right now because that's what I was told today. Yes. Yeah. He was a Canadian citizen until 2014. How could he be a senator from Texas as a Canadian citizen? Are you telling me that a foreign national could run for the U.S. Senate? Not that it would make much difference. If we had a Saudi senator in New York, he couldn't do more damage than the, than the Democrats are doing. If we had a, a senator from Belarus... From the Ukraine, he would probably be more trustworthy than Dianne Feinstein or Nancy Pelosi. So it doesn't matter to me, but, but what's the law? Now, who backs Ted Cruz is another question. We keep hearing that Ted Cruz is as clean as the driven snow, right? That's all we hear is he's the true conservative. He's the ace in the hole. He knows the story. And all of the czars of the conservative movement in their own mind, all the people who wear elevator heels in their brain, think that Ted Cruz is as clean as the driven snow. Then can anyone explain to me why a billionaire hedge fund manager, Robert Mercer, who is in a legal fight with the IRS to the tune of $10 billion in taxes that he has not paid or owed, why is this hedge fund manager willing to invest several million, maybe more, into a presidential campaign in an effort to win the White House and influence U.S. tax policy that would tilt the IRS scales in his favor and save him billions. Is he funding Cruz? Did any of these czars in their own mind with elevator shoes on their minds? You know, some people wear elevator shoes to look taller. Some people elevate themselves with uh, mental elevator shoes, and they think that they're actually running a conservative movement. They have the audacity to think that they speak for conservatives in America. How is that even possible? Who speaks for everybody in this country for any movement? Do you know anyone who speaks for all liberals? Do you know anyone who speaks for all conservatives? I don't. I never met him. And secondly, if there was such a person, I would reject him because no one speaks for me. I speak for me. But these people with elevator shoes on their brains who think they speak for conservatives ought to really look into who is funding they're pure as the driven snow, Ted Cruz. Now, I want to go to another statement I made yesterday. By the way, you can call the show at 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. If you can't write that down, write it down, 855-400-7282. All the lines are open right now because I've overwhelmed you with four stories that don't repeat the Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. Democrat, Republican, RNC no good, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. So you have four topics now, not just Democrat, Republican to talk about if you care to call the show. If you don't care to call the show, it's your loss, not mine, because believe me, I got enough uh, vigor in me right now to go for six hours, let alone three. Yesterday, I told you a story that I learned from a lawyer 30 years ago when I was engaged in some very small event in my life, but someone had done something, a publisher had stolen a book from me, and I wanted to sue them. And I met a lawyer from New York, a New York lawyer, and he said to me, Michael, do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? Let me repeat it for those of you who can't remember anything. 
for those of you who only have Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, I'm a conservative, I'm a conservative. You're not a conservative. He's not a conservative. I'm a conservative. I'm a real conservative. You're not a conservative. He's a conservative. I'm a conservative. You're not a conservative. Conservative, conservative, all, all, all conservative. For those of you who can't write it down, write it down. Do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? Now, why am I saying that to you for the second time? Because I'm going to repeat it nine times which, according to ad agencies, is the number of times you have to hear something to remember it. Do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? That's three. Do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? Four. Do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? That's five. Do you want to be right you want to be smart? That's six. Do you want to be right you want to be smart? Seven. Do you want to be right you want to be smart? Eight. And finally, do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? Now, why am I saying do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? I'll tell you in a minute. Why am I saying do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? If anyone in the audience remembers... Why I raised this yesterday, and why I mentioned it yesterday, for those of you who are interested in winning the White House and not letting it fall into the hands of this despicable, socialist, Democrat, Islamist party, known as the Democrat Party, okay? To me, any Republican would be better than Hillary. I don't understand what you're thinking. I don't understand how stupid you zealots can be. Of course we'd all like 100% conservatism in a candidate. Do you know of any? There are none. None. Zero. So I would rather have someone who gives me the most important issues, such as, one, national security crushes ISIS, two, rebuilds the military, closes the border, establishes the law all over again, and we have law and order back in America. And then I'll worry about all the other issues another time. But many of you are such zealots that you say, no, that's not good enough. Because I oppose this, I oppose that, I oppose this, I oppose that. I want 100% pure conservative because I want to lose the election to Hillary Clinton. I want a fanatic who looks like Dracula in the White House. That if someone painted blood on the side of his mouth and turned the sound off, he could be casting for a Harvey Weinstein flick, a horror flick. Now, I want him to run because he's more pure than Donald Trump. I want Dracula to run, even though he can't win, because I'd rather go down with a purist than win with someone who might be socially liberal in some areas. That makes a lot of sense. Did you hear what I just said to you? Do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? Listen carefully to what Michael Savage is saying. Anyone can pretend to be 100% pure and the standard bearer of conservatism. That's a cheap shot. We all know what conservative values are. No one has to lecture me on that. But we are talking about taking the nation back from the socialist Islamist wing, the Democrats. And that means doing what we have to do to win. I'll be back. Creatures of hate, the effect of whose actions and words would be to incite violence, have no right to come to Britain. And if I can give some examples of the kind of people that have been banned. Michael Savage, a US radio host, uh, he said, he was con it was said about him, he was considered to ah. be engaging in an unacceptable behavior, fostering it was hatred. Said about him. He claimed American Muslims needed deportation. He was banned from coming to our country. I never said that. And do you notice what that slimy communist said? It was said that he said, this is the nation that gave us the Magna Carta. This is the nation that lost so many millions of men in World Wars I and then in World War II to fight fascism. And we wake up and we find out that fascists have arrived in Britain in the guise of the Labour Party of today. And they let, this is even more interesting, they let Muslim refugees in who are not vetted, several of whom are terrorists. Many of their own homegrown Muslims run around with signs, say things about overthrowing Britain, introducing Sharia law, etc., and they're not banned. It's a hypocritical nation. It's sickening. Now, in my case, they picked on a man who was an underdog who couldn't fight back. It cost me $400,000, and I couldn't get anywhere because the government at the time was controlled by the communists, the Labour Party. And I was told that when Cameron, the conservative, was elected... He would take me off that despicable list because what they said about me was false. Well, Cameron.